Hello, everybody. <laughs> nope. Oh, my arm isn't working. Hello, everyone. Um, so today we are going to be unboxing um, some Pokemon cards now. We're going to be unboxing the Aldea Legends Summer Tin Myriadon. M M ah, no, Meridon? Meridon? Ah. Hmm. And so, spoiler, there's going to be this Pokemon uh, TCG Paldea Legends 10 includes one foil promo card, five Pokemon booster packs, a code card for TCG Live, and that's it. A nice pin to put all my stuff in. So we're going to open it up. Eh. Okay, so that's... Mm -hmm. All right, so when we open it up, we get our foil. Boop. Nope, you guys don't get the, the code until later. Hmm. And so that's the foil. We're gonna take a look at that later. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five. Wow, they went all the way back to Silver Tempest. They pro uh, and Bl Brilliant Stars. They went all the way back. We got Scarlet and Violet into Paldea Evolved. And then that's it for the cake. And that's it for the thing. Um, and let's throw these back, back as well. We can open these without... We go from front to back or back to front. Interesting conundrum. Um, yeah. we can breeze through the older versions first because we've probably seen so many of these before. And since this one kind of has like that, we're gonna open it from the bottom. Seen this before? Armory. Oh, they didn't, all its three forms. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, and they're all just there, sitting there, <laughs> hanging down for twenty. And then, yeah, no, that's pretty cute. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Spiritum. Yeah, we've seen this one before. With all the graveyard in the back. Ooh, Magmar. Being a little bit... <clears throat> being a little bit uh, more, I think, Christmas-themed with all the pine trees. And I think, like, Christmas ornaments, maybe, in the background. Fish. Now this is supposed to be like a crawfish. So I don't think I've seen this one either. Like Brilliant Stars wasn't one that we actually I think went through. I do like his coming out of the log, like in natural, like, hmm. 
crayfish wood. Kind of cool. Sneasel, we've seen a bunch of him or her. Dustclops is our reverse hollow. I'm just gonna say reverse hollow because I like this. Eh, I like this kind of like whatever they say for the holographic around the sides. I'm just gonna say it's reverse hollow. And then our rare is gonna be. <gasps> no way. You're fucking kidding me. Oh, guys. Look at this. We got Zapdos. Galarian Zapdos. Ah! Fighting instincts. This Pokemon's natural uh, cost one less for each of your opponents. This Pokemon's attacks cost one less normal energy less for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. Yo, guys! Before to wait. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Dude! Dude! Like, 170 damage for four? But if he's got, like, V Pokemon, which probably, in order to defeat Zapdos, probably you need. It cost one less. Dude. I just love... I love how they made him into, like, an ostrich. Just running around instead of, like, actual flight. I like the fact in in Sword and Shield they made him like yeah basically flightless bird but he's still one of the strongest ones out there and just like it kind of works like normally I don't like like the the energy background where it's just like you know like all the rays but for some reason, this one works with it. Save that. Oh, fighting energy. Get on top. Training. You got the, tr the the classic fighting Pokemon, like in the middle of the woods, training with a waterfall. In the middle of a forest. Magma Basin. Once during each turn, that player may attach a fire energy card from their discard pile to one of their benched fire Pokemon. If a player attaches attached an energy to Pokemon in that way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Hmm. Hold on. Ooh. Aw. When Corfish evolves. We got the Corfish and the Evolution. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. It's a little more less detailed, but well, it's pretty cool with the giant claw and the legs are starting to get bigger and add like protective spikes. Pretty cool. And you guys get a code. I'm going to let you guys have that for a few seconds. And hopefully, um, you guys like it. next one we're gonna do silver tempest we'll give you another five five four three two 
two, two, one. There we go. Take a picture, do what you need to do with the code. And we're going on. There we go. Most of you guys should be using the QR code. <clears throat> Most of you guys should be using the QR code. But if you're not, well, give you some time. Oh, so we got Litten. We've seen a bunch of him. They do like the little scaredy cat in the middle, in the in the corner of the room. Reflect? Reflect. Yep. And... He's just flying in the bay. Just doing his own thing. I do like that. Uh, jump on. 10 plus. Flip a coin. If heads this, attack this 30 more damage. Um... Anakin. Ooh. And it's fall, which about the time that it was released, yeah. Silver Tempest, I think that was near the fall. When they released that series. Um Emolga. Flying in the park, a little squirrel. And you got, um, I forget what's her name. What's that Pokemon's name? That's just like a bug Pokemon that's pollinating everything. Alright, we got Beldum. And our reverse hollow is gonna be a Weepy Camo Poncho. Whenever you are po whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all damage, prevent all effects of that card done to the Pokemon B Star or Pokemon Max this card is attached to. Oh, so prevention from support cards from for your big ones, for your big Pokemon, and our rare is gonna be. Nygarde. We've seen, we've had, we've already had this one. Um, it's our rare. Uh, Shout of Power, 20. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Or speed attack for 70. Now, as a rare, Kind of meh. If it's a starter Pokemon, this is great. Because it only takes two to do 70, which is kind of on the high end. The high end of damage. And Shadow of Power. Also, that's kind of a mid game move. Because in the beginning, you don't really have anything in your discard pile. Unless you have support cards or, or just trainer cards that just discard cards from your hand and you can just bring them back. Oh, oh my goodness. Actually, that's a really great card to start out with. You can do like Professor Oak, discard your entire hand, and then draw seven cards. And if you have energy cards in that, as long as this guy's powered up before you discard your the cards in your hand, if they're energies, you got them. You can bring them all back. And that doesn't include cards you can play from your hand. You can basically be putting two energies on things on your bench. Better psychic energy. Uh, Braxton? Raisin? Raisin? Raxin? I'd 
do like the fire aesthetic. Wielding a flaming stick, torch, and everything around is on fire. In the dark. But, eh. Then we got the he the he I am. Uh, psychic spear for 30. Psychic arrow. This attacks with 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Also apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. This guy. This guy's broken. Also apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. Normally, you don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. This. This move alone. That's. That's amazing. That's amazing. Because. Damaging bench Pokemon doesn't apply weakness and resistance normally. But with this, you can do 120 damage to a weak uh, with a Pokemon with a weakness to Psychic. That's amazing. Crocodile Pokemon from like, like, okay, so that's probably like fourth gen, fifth gen, fourth or fifth gen. I forget. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. I've only, I've it's been a hot minute since I've seen them. A hot minute since I've actually memorized all one thousand Pokemon. <laughs> um, yeah. And then you guys get. If we can finish this up, um, if we can finish this up in, let's say, mm, soonish, we could also open up another package. Do I want to wait for? We might wait. Or I could just do... No, we could do that. I can open up a few packs of just, um, Violet. Scarlet and Violet. Um, afterwards. Speaking of that, um, that's our next pack. Scarlet and Violet. Let's open it up, see where we go, and... Hmm. Alright. So we got Chansey. Um, and I like this one, because it's like, really cute. Chansey's running over. And he got the sparkles from the sun. It's kind of cute. Um... <clears throat> Round for 40. Rolling egg. Egg rolling for 60 damage. Uh, 60 times. Flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 60 damage for each head. I think we've seen this one before. But it's still cute nonetheless. Um, rare candy. Choose one of your basic Pokemon and play. <laughs> mm. If you have a stage... Hmm. <clears throat> If you have a stage two card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card into onto the basic Pokemon to evolve it, skipping stage one. You can't use this card during your first turn or on a basic Pokemon that was put into play this turn. 
Hmm. Fido. Ah, so cute. I I love this concept of this card. Ever since like ever since it came out. Like it's not super strong, but like if it was in the real world, I would totally have this as my Pokemon. He's, he's, he's dough. He's a dog made of dough. He's a puppy made from dough. <laughs> I love it. I, the, the vanilla ice cream one was me. This one. This is the Pokemon. Did it. All right. The Dene. Um. Energy Munch. 30. Flip a coin. If heads, discard an energy card from an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, this is pretty good. Um, even if it's eh, because you can just have him out on the field, slowly discarding energies from your opponent. If there's a way where you can reflip coins or make it so it's in your advantage somehow, you can you can get away with that. That would be pretty nice. Alright. Miriam. Um. Trainer, supporter. Shuffle up to five Pokemon cards from your discard pile into your deck. If you shuffled any cards in this way, draw three cards. Wait. From your discard pile? Oh! So even if you... Even if you, um, this is just draw three cards. Wow, that's, and it's not, it's Pokemon cards. It's not like stage one or basic or stage two. They're not limiting you to like a type. So you can get evolution cards back. You can get Pokemon V back. Or Pokemon V Max. To be fair, if you're gonna put Pokemon V and Pokemon V Max cards back, um, especially the V Max, you're basically almost dead. <laughs> and this is a last ditch attempt, <laughs> um, to win. So, eh. oh, they redid Spiritum again. Um, switch. <clears throat> Taunt. Switch in one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot. Okay. Switch in. Yeah, switch in one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot. Doom Decree. Flip two coins. If both of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. <clears throat> if you had a way to. Again redo coin flips that would be pretty good hmm. ultra ball everyone has ultra ball our fur our reverse hollow is going to be switch switch one of your active pokemon with your bench pokemon there's always a switch in every single one in every single generation i have seen so far there's always a switch Our second reverse hollow, I forgot. This is when they introduced two reverse hollows into the pack. Um Floet Floette. And oh. And our rare is gonna be Ooh, Cyclazar. Oh, so they reuse this one for the McDonald's. The McDonald's set reuses this one. Oh man, I was kind of hoping it was original artwork. 
I do like it. And this is the first time we see cyclists are up kind of like on two feet. And I don't know. I like it. Kind of cool. Touring, draw two cards, speed attack for a hundred. That's not bad. Especially if it's a basic Pokemon. And then our energy is psychic. And then you guys get Toad. be up to me to continue on my voice is kind of dying <laughs> um that's half the reason why i don't really that's half the reason i don't really um like to do more than one pokemon thing a day just because my voice gives out I haven't been practicing my um, feminine voice a lot recently um, because I've had no time and honestly I haven't put the effort in so yep um, but from now on I'm gonna try harder and we're gonna keep going with that So I've given you guys enough time. Let me just take one more drink of water and we'll be right back. So open up another. All right. Um, we're going to switch things up. We're going to go to Paldea Evolve. We got... All oh, right. This is pack number four out of five. Huh. Athita. <clears throat> Athita. Oh, she's so cute. She's on the beach. Looks like a tundra beach, kind of like. Because you got the snow, then you got the sand. And the big, huge eyes and the, the lips is kind of cute. Oh, mischief. trying to growl that's kind of sad it's, it's displaying two different types of emotions at once it's trying to be trying to be fierce and ferocious but it really wants to cry Aww. and you got the wind blowing through Puppy. Hmm. Ooh, we got Winkle. And it's a normal type. What? Winkles are supposed to be... Well, I mean... I guess it makes sense. Because Winkles are... Flying. And water. It just kind of was like... 
they still have the weakness to electricity which um, is also a bird weakness flying weakness it also has the resistance so mm. But then, so, as I'm looking down, you can see it's kind of like the main town in uh, Aldea. You can kind of see, I think this is the main town. Although I'm not sure, because it looks like it's staggering up. Um, which is what, there's a giant, like, um, pyramid type thing going on. In, in the main city. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Single. Oh, Pinko. We've seen you before. And you're next to that area. I just really have to finish this game because I don't know what that area is. I think that unlocks like after you defeat a like massive Pokemon, like an ancient or future Pokemon, futuristic Pokemon. Hmm. Hmm. Like, oh. Luxio. And he's just sunbathing on that rock. Probably lifted his head up to see what something in annoying him. Oh. Our um next card is Ma Ma Bostiff? Up up and yeah, come up and during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack. Even if it's knocked out, put damage counters on the attacking Pokemon equal to the damage done to this Pokemon. Mm. And this is why I feel that this is... No, well, it's a stage one, so... So you have to have the basic Pokemon, and then you have to level or evolve him. Um, and then Darkness Fang for 100. So this one I don't particularly like. I feel that Comeuppance is unbalanced. If it's doing, if you, if it has. If it has something like, um, you can only use this attack once every other turn, then I can say it's fine. But because it, you can use it every single turn, it's broken. Because mm -hmm. if you want to, like, pick, like, say if you have like. A massive Pokemon that can do either like 30 damage or like 120 damage depending on the attack oh you're always going to be forced to do the 30 damage and then it's 30 plus the 20 on top of that and you're going to keep whittling your own self away um you're going to basically lose a Pokemon to this Pokemon, no matter what. This one is definitely destroys one of the other Pokemon. Now, this also brings up the question, one of my other, like, one of my other grievances I have, let's say you need to knock out one Pokemon and your opponent needs to walk, knock out one Pokemon. If you use comeuppance, will... Will that lead to a tie? 
will that lead to a tie? If the damage dealt back is, um, knocks him out, knocks out your opponent's Pokemon, will it be a tie between the two of you? That's me. That's in dispute for me. Does anybody else know on here? Um, if you do, please let me know. Um, because I want to know if that'll lead to a tie or if the other one, if the, the other opponent, uh, if your opponent will win or will come up and make it a tie. All right. Next one is Pugatar. Pugatar. And kind of cool that they made it so it's flying. It's supposed to be like a cocoon, though, I thought. Because it's supposed to be Larvitar, Pupitar, or Pupitar, Renatar. And, well, it was supposed to be like a larval stage, I guess? I don't know. Like a cocoon. But anyways, um, kind of nice. I like the, the zooming action showing that he's kind of like chomping or something or charging at the, at something else. Um, you can also see the grass fly away as he's like charging through, which is pretty cool. And our first, ooh. Our first reverse hollow is going to be Pyroar. Singe. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Overrun 60. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Also, wait. It also does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Eh. Alright. But. It's alright, but like. I don't know. Um. 60 damage? It's not too great. And see, the thing I was talking about before, don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. That other one, Psychic one, mm, doesn't have that one. I mean, if they didn't have this, you could kind of see that Overrun would be decent. So like weakness and resistance, so like if it's against a grass Pokemon, it'll do 40. Ooh, excuse me, I'm tired. Um, but yeah, no, I don't like that. It seems a little bit too meh, but I do like him jumping up and the flames and the fire breath. That looks kind of cool. We got the Tauros ah, in in reverse hollow form. Ooh. And I love the reverse hollow forms because you can kind of like see the like symbols there. So like you kind of know that this is special. And you can see all the special like yeah. stuff there. Raging Horns for 20, this attack does 20, no, this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Blaze Dash, 120, discard up energy from this Pokemon. Hm. Nice. And I like how it's just a Raging Bull. Again, this was supposed to be, I think, Spanish. Hm. I think this, yeah, I think this was supposed to be from Spain. So like bull fights. Big thing there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And our rare Pokemon is Vels Velusa? Velusa? Is that how you say it? I'll use it. Um, yeah. I'm for 20. 
one to screw for 120. If you have no cards in your hand, this attack can be used for one. Um, yeah, no. What in the world? Because, like, wait, don't I have that from? I think I already have this card from when I opened up the when I opened up the um the box the battle deck box me I do like the whirlpool kind of effect going on there but mm, not into it really um electric and then you guys get go one more and then I think I'm gonna call it a day one more pack because we're slowly whittling away at what we have um i want to finish at least two more do another one tomorrow uh maybe one tonight actually yeah do some more pokemon op card openings and just like Kind of go for it because I'm like, I got the cards, I got the boxes. Might as well. All right, so last pack. Here we go. All right, a uh, pin urchin, and again, eh. for the artwork, I don't really like the 3D stuff. Oh, meh. You know? So that means that they have the evolution. Hmm. I like this one. Okay. Hello. Hmm. How's the poll going? Um, doing all right. The polls are okay. Um, Valerian Zapdos was kind of like our number one. Um, so far, and that was in the beginning. But uh, she. She her pronouns. All right. How are you doing? The, the Minpo? I don't know if I got that right. Sure. All right. Hmm. You've joined us right at the end. We're about to, after this pack, we're gonna end. Um, but. M M Inpo Tem Inpo hmm. All right All right thank you um So oh magic carp I kind of wish I remember correctly we got the the rare version um the alternate art version like three or four weeks ago it's pretty cool uh, but i do like the ones with the waterfall and it's just like i always like magic carp for some reason they always do well with his art design slow poke in the fountain mm. Wait, they have two versions of this in, in this generation of Incurchin? 
Hmm. Stun needle for 20. Um, flip a coin and if heads, your opponent's action Pokemon is now paralyzed. Follow up Kurzat. You can only use this if this Pokemon used stun needle during your last turn. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like that. That's the name I forget how to pronounce. <laughs> um, nope, I don't play the online PCG or um, I do physical with um, oh, with um, what did you call it? Like the first generation, like um deck building kind of like thing where you build your deck there from the cards you get I forget what that's called um but yeah I haven't really gone to many of them I don't really do I don't really build my own decks because I don't want to spend all the money in the world um first gen only oh um First gen only. No, um, I do tournaments where it's boxed. I forget what it's, I forget what you're, where, where you get a box of cards and where you, where you get that, like, I forget that special, like, build your deck kind of box. And, yeah, um, I forget how to explain it. Um, on decks um kind of um okay. um like when um like um I'm trying to look it up right now but Booster box. Uh, the boost. No, not the booster box. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, yeah. So, like, you build your deck. You go there. You pay like 30 bucks to a place. You build your deck from. Like, they give you a, a box that has like a preset thing, and like two booster packs or something like it. Eh. Yeah. Oh, you're new. Well. Okay. That's good. Um, yeah, it's better to learn online first because you can't do moves that you, you can't do moves that you think you can, but you can't. So like, teaches you how to play correctly. Um, I never, I never got into it. I don't have the time. Um, and I used to play. I used to play a whole bunch of card playing games way back. I used to do Magic the Gathering, it was a big one. Um, Pokemon was another one, Yu Gi Oh! And what else was there? Final Fantasy, before it became super expensive. Yep, Yu Gi Oh! Yep. And so I kind of like, based on those like games, Oh. White card Vanguard. No, I never got into Vanguard. Never got into those. Uh, I saw them. And I'm like, that's cool. But I don't have any money. <laughs> um, yeah. I didn't have any money to, like, actually play all the games. So I limited myself. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Because it's super expensive, even now. Like, even five packs with what I've gotten right here was like $18. So, the only reason I buy them in person is because GameStop's got like once, once a month, I get like a 
five dollar coupon for everything so hmm. anyways um back to this Zwellius and find a friend search your deck for up to two Pokemon cards reveal them and put them into your hand go for your deck wait oh um nope nope I give them out I give out the cards code cards I put them on screen you guys do what you need to do grab them whatever um and that's how i kind of like keep audiences in um yep um so yeah that's how i keep people from leaving <laughs> yeah. moss hold yeah oh the cute little baby the family <laughs> put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon for each of your mouse holes in play what oh jeez um that's broken if you can get what I think it's like uh correct me if I'm wrong you can have up to four copies or is it three of each card in your deck so like 30 40 damage to everything in play to everything on their side in play you can have four yes yeah, so you can do 40 damage to everything in play on their side <laughs> that's stupid like that's ah yeah um no it doesn't fill your well it does fill your bench um one it, uh, three in your bench so you have two more two slots open you have two slots open yeah. but yeah Next card, Great Ball. Meh. Every generation has a Great Ball. We Coco. Oh, they redid this. They redid the starter. And I actually like this one more. The artwork. Pretty cool. Um, flip a coin. If heads deal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Remo heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Hmm. That's... And with 90 HP, this guy's like a wall. This guy's a tank. Hmm. And our rare is going to be an EX. Hmm. Oh, we've already got this guy. King Lu. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play have... Wait. Opponent's Pokemon in play that have any damage counters on them have no abilities. Ooh. Except for Pokemon EX. So, Pokemon V, Pokemon V Max, they're getting rid of those. So this is going to be the next card. Hmm. And land scoop 150. Put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So everything's going to have a damage counter that you don't want to have a um ability for. And that's pretty good. Huh. Water energy. And then... As promised, you guys get the code. Mm -hmm. 
And this one's kind of like the last one for today. Um, I don't know if you're watching from a computer or whatever. Um, yeah, get your screenshot, get your QR code. And we have one more QR code left. Um, we have one more redeem. So just keep, we're, we're going to give like another 30 more seconds. Just so everyone can try and grab it. I don't know if you're putting the letters, the numbers, and or if you're using the QR code. So I like to give a little more time. Hmm. Um... So, um, anyways, yeah. Let me know when you guys get it. I can continue up. Got it. Okay. Good. All right. So we're going to zoom out. Yeah. So this is the card we got with the box. I don't know, the tin. Yeah. Alright. Tandem unit. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic electric Pokemon and put them onto your bench and shuffle your deck. Photon Blaster. 220. Next turn, this Pokemon can attack. Yeah. So, glass cannon, really. Glass cannon rolls. Um, because if you're fighting with an EX. Generally, they have something like this, another EX, hmm. and then get ready again because we have the tin code. There you go, guys. That's the last code for today. Just let me know when you're done. No rush. Because then I'll put all the codes we have today up on the screen. And if no one got them, you're welcome to it. Okay, you got it. All right. And we're going to close out normally. Like I said, we have whoop, one, two, three, four, Five, six. Let's zoom in a bit just to make sure we can. And those are all the codes from today. So. If you get it, you get it. If um, not, well, tune in earlier. <laughs> um, so normally I do this every Saturday, Sunday. Uh, open up some packs. Um, play a, play a few games. Um, or at least play one game for right now. Um, Gyromancer, and I don't know. I'm not good with talking. Uh, the card, Pokemon cards, have kind of like forced me to like. I kind of forced myself to do descriptors and challenge myself in speaking more. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but with games, sometimes I won't respond. Um, 
as much because I'm trying to get into the game. But yeah. Um Yeah. So take a sip of water. Then do another 30 more seconds and uh, try and get a screenshot or whatever. Because we're going to probably leave it off here. Um, tomorrow, probably going to do some really want to do the obsidian um elite starter box that I have just sitting there um obsidian flames yeah yep we're gonna be doing that one um the elite the elite trainer box um yeah we'll be doing that hopefully tomorrow I'm not gonna guarantee it And if you don't see the notice and no one grabs the codes, um, yeah, if no one sees it, no one grabs the codes, this will be posted um, once a week. I like to post um, Pokemon TCG, my Pokemon TCG card openings on YouTube while promoting the channel. Woo! Um, but yeah. As for my model, um, I made it myself. Um, I actually have, that's something else I do when streaming. And I might do another like redesign soon for Halloween. Um, so I used a software called um, Vroid Studios to create the model. And then I use a VC face to get the model to work with my with um my camera and my um neat motion sensor so I can get hand tracking. Um so that's another thing that's on my channel. <laughs> Self promoting. Um so yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for Halloween. Um, it also uses Photoshop, so, like, you can get, like, all this different, all the different, um, colors. The dress was designed by me. Um, the, um, the rings were, too. Um, the necklace, and wrist um i also have a few of these files on my booth um i'm doing a lot of self-promotion here um so my booth um page where you can download these files download the dress um the eyes um the rings and the necklace Mm, I didn't do the bracelet so far. Give me one second. Mm. My voice is getting tired, so I <laughs> took a drink of water. It's always good to hydrate. And so, but, um, my booth. See if I can grab that. Go up to the booth. And this there. I can do this. And nope. And a shop. Yeah. Awesome. So I got a whole bunch of um designs here. Um uh, different eyes that are up for sale. Some of them are free. Where are my free stuff? Um, 
I got different eyes for free. I got watches. Um, Samsung watch though is gonna be paid for. Um, yeah, no, I got a few rings. <laughs> Nails. Um, Christmas sweater up for sale, and yeah, so. Um, I intend to try and expand my store. Um, so sometimes you'll see me streaming and I'll be creating stuff. Um, so, oh, you gotta go to work. All right. Well, this is the end for, for me anyways. Um, thank you, Tem, Tem Inpo. And, um, to everyone else see you guys next time thank you for watching and again everything will be on youtube and twitch um well most of it be on twitch but all my stuff's on youtube and so if you can miss it check it out there and yeah not have a nice day everyone or night or evening yeah wherever you are in the world Catch you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.